All right, what's going on, everyone? This is Meteor Mess, a fan-made remake of the Maniac Mansion game with updated graphics and voice acting. And, uh, yeah, someone let me know this was a thing. It literally just came out the day that I'm playing it right now. So uh, Maniac Mansion been very kind to me over the years. I thought I would give it a quick look, and uh, we'd see what we got. Let's see. Uh, I think Ron Gilbert said that like 10 years ago he like gave this game his blessing or something it's been in development for a really long time uh but uh so i have no idea what to expect except for the fact that i started a game just to make sure it worked so i have some idea of what it looks like but uh <laughs> i don't think we have live action actors as good as that would be just basically the original tv show from the 80s and 90s reenacting this game but uh, I'm going to adjust my sound a little bit here. Let's take a look at the settings. We can change Sandy's dress color. Any requests as we do this live? Red, purple, yellow, or green? <laughs> the important settings. Good to tackle those. And then bluish Edison's. I guess they have, like, more, I don't know, stereotypically normal, quote-unquote, skin tones. So let's tick that for the good old classic blue skin feel. And I got to vote for red, so we're going to stick with red on Sandy's dress. I don't know. Seems good to me. Let's start a new game. Oh, we got to pick our party, obviously. So Dave, he comes prepackaged. We're stuck with him. Um, I'm going to go with Sid just because, I don't know, it's been a while since I think I've actually played with Sid. I don't know if I've ever done a proper play with him. Maybe I have. Maybe the first one was Sid. I really can't remember at this point and um you know what bringing it full circle let's go back let's go wendy you know what i played with her in the first ever playthrough i did of this game it's been a while for her as well and let's uh let's start this thing out we got our dream team there's the test game which i just got to the character selection screen basically so let's start it Voice acting. I'm very excited to hear that. Did we crash? <laughs> Again, this just came out today. There's going to be some patches. Obviously. Let's try that again. I was able to get into the game when I was testing it before. So I will say uh, it does work in theory. Let's try this one more time. But Meteor Mess... Super fans of Maniac Mansion will recognize that as one of the uh, the games within the game, one of the arcade games. I think that's the one that Dr. Fred plays, actually, uh, that you use his high score to set the combination to get into the secret lab. That's secret with a K, gang. Um, all right, I think we're still good, I assume. Get my party, start the game. Brand new game. Very exciting. All right, got the crickets. Got a little intro here. This is a little choppy when I was running it earlier. I tried different graphics settings. I think it's just, you know, early days in the game. There's uh, Ed, tentacle in a pool. <laughs> Cousin. One of like a backstory here. All the bodies in the basement. Some people. Maybe that's Michael. He's got the camera. And there's Dave trying to get the gang together to rescue Sandy. I love it. I like. That's not accurate. We know that Sid doesn't play in a band with Razor, but I still like the idea. And with that, they all jump in the car and head to the old mansion. And here we go. Be sync. All right. I'm here okay. for it. This looks like the old mansion. I'm sure I saw Dr. Fred take Sandy here. It's up to us to get her out. This could be real dangerous. If anyone wants to back out, should have put in This uh... would make a great story. Let's do it. Okay. Ah. Let's go rescue Sandy. 
disappointed in Sid's voice already. I saw that they had like on the updates of the website where I downloaded the game. And just, you know, do a search for uh, Meteor Mess if you'd like to check this game out. It's completely free. Um, but I noticed one of the uh, past blog updates they made was, Hey, if you, any voice actors out there want to be a part of this, I so should have gone out for the role of Sid had I known this was a thing. But, uh, oh well. All right. Dave's got his Canadian tuxedo. I'm just kidding. We love the Canadians on this channel. It's just an old bad joke. I like that look, actually. What's this t-shirt That's say? me. <laughs> That's me. All right, we can right-click to... Wendy wants to be a famous novelist and is waiting for her big break. To look at people. Sid, an aspiring musician trying to start his own new wave band. That checks out. Dave sounds a little dismissive of the whole new wave genre. If you ask me, I'm going to turn up the game just a little bit. Can we talk to people? The atmosphere of this pad is off the chain. <laughs> It's going to take me some time to get on board with Sid's voice. It's unlikely that someone will just let us in. Yeah, I should have put in Bernard just to hear the tuna headline. Oh, well. All right. And we can switch on demand. I like this a lot. No more click on new kid. This will be good. It even tells you their position. That's nice. We have all the other commands here. We can... I'd have to be Paul Bunyan to rip that thing to the ground. Is everyone recording the same line for that, by the way? I'd have to be Paul Bunyan to rip that thing to the ground. Hey, it's why they're friends, right? They all think alike. I'd have to be Paul Bunyan to rip that thing to the ground. Jinx. A little off time, but still. All right, let's head to the mansion. I don't know if they, like, changed this game up in terms of what you have to do. By the way, is anyone else getting Quest for Glory 5 vibes? I'm wearing a denim shirt as I play this, actually. <laughs> I'm rocking the Dave look right now without even realizing it. Yeah, I'm getting, like, Quest for Glory 5 uh, animations a little bit. Like, with the, the cut to the different screens and everything. The models a little bit. Where's the mailbox over here? I like that right-clicking is kind of a catch-all button. It, like, does whatever is appropriate. Looking at something, interacting with something. Here's the bushes right here. If we move the bushes. Nice. I'm missing the old soundtrack, though. I gotta admit, the NES version. Uh, what do we got here? Doorbell. That's me. Yes. I, we're very proud of you, Dave. <laughs> ringing the doorbell. So this should bring someone down. Ed, I believe. Oh, the doorbell. I wonder if that's my package. <laughs> I wonder if that's my package. Got the blue skin. There's the hamster. Nice. It's like somewhere between Quest for Glory 5 and like Leisure Suit Larry, Magna Cum Laude. A little bit. Alright, so let's just hang out here and wait for Ed to show up at the door. <laughs> we can have a nice awkward exchange. I saw the game engine in the opening, but I wasn't paying attention, so I can't answer the question of what game engine this game is utilizing. Take your time, Ed. Jeez, it's not that big. Can't you read the sign? No, get out of here! Oh, Alright. Clip much, Ed? I don't think I will, Ed. I think I'll... It says, go away. The doormat does? It says, go away. Ah, uh, uh, latch key. There we go. Classy and brassy. <laughs> Classy and brassy. All right, let's use the old key and enter the mansion for the first time. Sweet. Yeah, the ominous music. It's much more establishing kind of that horror vibe, which I can appreciate. But I do miss the other music. All right, we got to get caught by Edna, right? So tense. <gasps> Want some food? Wait, what? You're... Come here, dearie. You're British? 
Quick. I only have one speed. Oh, we still got away. All right, that works. Is she going to chase me out here? I would love it if she chased me out here just once. Ah. Oh, oh my god. I got you. All right. And I had a mini jump scare with that too. Ooh. Looks more like the stables. How silly of me. I should have tied you to my bed. The original kinky line intact. No Nintendo sensors. Gonna gum this one up. Yeah, this is a lot more dank. And farmy. <laughs> Why do they put so down so much straw? This double as like a barn? I don't get it. All right, where's this? Oh, that's obvious. There's the loose brick. It seems loose. All right, well, anyway. Is it going to say dungeon for Dave? And that we're switching characters here. By the way, can I save? Yes, all right. Oh, nice. We have different tabs for different saves. I like that. Just in case we get another crash. All right. Let's explore the mansion in earnest now that we have the free room of that bottom floor, basically. I don't love the, the one speed that we have. Everybody had a bit more urgency in the uh, NES version. This Ed wants some much. Uh, well, my dear, hope you're having fun. <laughs> That's her. But then how could you not with Purple Tentacle keeping you company? That's a dress? You're a madman, and that tentacle is a creep. I want out of here. Not to worry, girl. Your troubles aren't long for this world. Within minutes, it will all be over. Minutes. Ah, you'll be hooked up to my machine, getting your pretty brain sucked out like soda through a straw. Uh, I assume they're pretty anyway. <laughs> uh, fortunately, there will soon be no need to speculate. Whoa. You'll never get away with this. Dave and his friends will rescue me. You and your meteor can eat slime. Jeez, you're quite the scold. But amusing nonetheless. Just you wait. I'm sure they're on the way. You'll see. That's what she thinks. <laughs> I don't think he said that out loud in the original version, but that's fine. <laughs> the Star Trek sound effect for the door opening. Help! 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 I like that dress that the developers is just like very skimpy, like cheerleader tank top and very short cheerleader skirt. But it's red. You can't argue. You can't tell me it's not red. All right, let's head inside. Sandy's a lot more fetching in this version than she was in the uh, original ones. <laughs> like, yeah, I guess we gotta rescue Sandy. You know, she's, yeah, it's, yeah, right. Let's rescue Sandy. The old clock. It's the correct time. And that's never gonna change, I'm assuming. What is it, 1215? It's hard to tell what the shorthand is there. Into the kitchen we go. Buck Ugh, that's disgusting. Bucket of blood? Or is that just the ketchup? To do. Butter, ketchup, uh... Ooh, it's a Binford. That's fun. I would get the... There we go. I actually do need that. Can I get the cup? It's a used cup. It doesn't seem to have been cleaned lately. Pepsi! Got the branded Pepsi right there. Get some lettuce. Get the cheese for our friend Ed. Soon to be friend. It's a good way to cut yourself. Is that ketchup? I'm not gonna sweat it. A calendar for 1987. <laughs> Those sound effects sound familiar. I don't know how old Fred is, though. Yeah, you hear. This painting looks expensive. It's an it shows some people sitting at a riverside. There you go. Definitely going with the original for the uh, inspiration here. As you'd expect, I shouldn't be surprised. It's just I grew up with the NES version, that's what I know. Small wine cellar here, a wine rack at least. Oops. 
<laughs> doesn't matter what version it is, doesn't matter what kit it is, no one can grab that damn bottle of developer. Uh-oh. Gee, I'm hungry. I always expected him to have like a much younger voice, like mommy. Actually, speaking of which, I can't wait to hear him say mommy in that voice. Mommy, <laughs> dad's been down there for years. I'm older than him now somehow. Anything else? Can't open this door. It's locked. Yeah. yeah. All right. Is there a rotting roast on the table? Good luck getting that out. Gravy stain. Here it is. Here's the roast. And the old turkey. Your wine. Can't click on the wine. He got to this refrigerator. Dum -dee -dum. Dum -dee -dum. Does he have a toothpick in his mouth? Where's the cheese? <laughs> Good thing he didn't see us right through that open door. We were clearly standing. Dum dee dum. I would have given him that cheese had I made it there in time. He got to the fridge a lot faster than he got to the door when we rang the bell. That walk. Staying alive, staying alive. It's like a Sierra door opening sound. Not one of the main ones, but I've heard that before. What are these little creatures? Those are gargoyles? Hmm. This one seems loose. Right. We'll come back. I'm sure that'll come in later in the play. I can't identify her. As well maintained as anything else in this house. I like the little details here and there, you know, that we didn't get in the uh, earlier versions. Or maybe they were there, but just, you know, the added detail that we have here. It's nice. That, uh... That's the Danish explorer, Jan Picardson. I was gonna say, I see some vague resemblance there. You guys are clearly big, uh, Star Trek fans. Television. I believe we'll have a key up there. Yep, there she is. Just hanging this time. Makes more sense. I haven't had to turn any lights on yet. This room might be different. We pitch black here. Okay. Still vaguely see our way around. This is preferable here so we can make out where the light switch is meant to be or the, the lamp in this case. Nice. Feels a bit warmer in this. I like all the wood. Why have a picture of something I can easily see outside? You're no fun, Sid. Looks comfortable, except for it not looking in any way comfortable. Oh. You sarcastic so-and-so. Wait, there's a cassette tape here that we'll need. I want to hear... This panel looks loose. I want to hear what the uh, his demo sounds like in this version, actually. What's up, Matthew? Open. They've, like, fully committed to the, the ambient horror soundtrack in the background. Kind of like it. Hey, Moo. And, yeah, the fact that Edna came out, that was pretty cool. I know they do that in the original, like, upstairs, you know, if you leave their room and they're chasing you. They'll at least chase you into the hallway if you get to the next floor after that, then you're clear, but by the way, we should save again, should we not? All right. Got the top of the stairs here. <laughs> okay. A portrait of Dr. Fred. Not the most flattering, but then again, maybe it is. I don't know. He's... I don't necessarily agree with uh, what Razor, her line was. I heard Dr. Fred's kind of cute. <laughs> you gotta have a type for Dr. Fred. By the way, I read that at the time of this, all of the lines for Razor hadn't been like put into the game yet, so that's another reason we did not take Razor. I like the little art room here, little art studio. A smock. 
So needs some cleaning. Should I take it? It's dirty, useless, and also dirty. No. <laughs> a very old brush. It's useless. Don't. An old paint can. Take it. The color's orange. An old paint can. The color's orange. I don't want to take it with me. Okay. What do you want? I don't to want take? to take those with me. I It's everything I don't want in an inventory <laughs> item. Fourth wall, Sid. I don't really need an empty crate half filled with the dried but pungent residue of an otherworldly occupant. I can't make heads or tails of it. I just know it gives me the creeps. Ah, wax fruit. Where's the paint remover, though? Oh, okay. <laughs> right there. Can I get a brush at least? There we go. All right, everything we need. Freaked out because something... I thought something wasn't the same for a second. Thing is, though, like about all like the suspense building, you know, crescendos and what have yous with the music. It's like if you've played the game a lot, you know that nothing's coming. There's no one like about to jump out at you, like the music would have you believe. Synthesizer, yes, please. Cool, a Korg M1. Korg M1. This is a real popular and robust synthesizer. Let's see you rock out with it, there, Sid. family just comes down. They're like, no, no, don't worry. We're not going to throw you in jail. Just keep playing. Oh, there's a drum set in here. Well done, Sid. Well done. Is that what I was meant to record, actually? We'll try the piano next. But let's make sure we're recording this first. All right. Inventory a lot easier. An audio cassette tape. Easier to deal with here. I like that. Let's turn on the cassette recorder. Okay, it's recording. All right. Let's try it on piano. I prefer playing on the Korg M1 synth. <laughs> Bet you do. All right. Better the second time. I like the idea that that's like an original composition, but both he and Razor both I stopped the recording. would have played that. All right. I wonder if there is any infomercials on TV right now. Possibly from Mark Itier. Hi, all you budding writers, musicians, and game designers. I'm Mark Eater, and my company will publish anything. Just mail it to the address shown below. Don't forget the stamp. It's a lot faster that time. Telestar. I'll keep the publisher's address in mind. There you go. Get a little hint that time. I don't think I got my tape, did I? There we go. Sweet guitar. A Gibson Flying V. The Edisons have excellent taste. I'll give them that. Sure, they may plot to take over the world and kidnap Sandy, but man, a Gibson Flying V. All right, let's head upstairs. Get our pump on, by the way. A hideously accurate portrait of Nurse Edna. Have you seen her yet? I know Dave has, but... All right, into the long hallway. We got the nude statue again, which didn't pass Nintendo's standards and practices. Thanks, Fluff. Citruv and Voyez Le Aulouf, post pay. <laughs> He's stolen a lot of art. That, uh, what you got here? Nothing? That's me. This will be for Wendy, actually. 
a little darker in here. I have to rely on the fact that I know that there is a desk lamp around here somewhere. There it is. Okay. Yeah, we'll leave the manuscript to Wendy. I hope this donation to science was voluntary. <laughs> Locked. Oh, they didn't put that line in. Mm, oh, they did. Locked. Never mind. Thought I caught you, makers of a free game. I don't know why I'm complaining. All right. We should see Meteor Mess in here. This is a very meta here in a second. Video Fever. Disco crazy. Siren slime. There she is. Meteor mess. This game looks like the one to play. There you go. I remember the big stink parents raised about the name. Yep. Had to change it. Kill Thrill again. Another victim of Nintendo standards and practices. Tron. <laughs> Pinball game. That's pretty cool. It's a much more fun game room in this version. It's like a Grand Theft Auto right there. Um, yeah, check out our uh, Video Games 101 walkthrough on this game. Learn a few things about it. See how to beat it with all of the various characters. Green and purple going at it there. Speaking of the green tentacle. Yeah, I'd play a Tron pinball game. Aquarium. A very big aquarium. That's cool. A lot less space going to waste in this version. <gasps> Saunters down. Hello, green tentacle. You can't pass until you feed me. Well, that's fair. How about some wax fruit? Wow. My favorite. That's what I wanted. That's what I thought. Now I'm thirsty. Well, I am very much your man, Green Tentacle. Let's try... Let's give him the fruit drinks. Mmm. Tasty. You like that? Okay. Still got our full Pepsi. That's good. Hate to part with my Pepsi. All right. Access granted for the upper floor. I know we're not going to be using this room since we don't have Michael here with us, but I always like to check out. Just like when I played the Amiga version. Just want to get an idea of what uh, these different rooms look like and all the different versions. Oh, thought I saw it for a second. Trey, I swear I saw the light. It's right in front of me. All right, cool. Perfect for developing uh, photos. Had we that ability? We're more musically inclined. I think it's time to talk with mommy about dad. Don't usually get that. Usually it just breaks right into the conversation. So I guess we'll cut right to that now. It's time to talk to mommy about. Well, that should be a short break between cutscenes, considering his room is right next to his mom's. We might see him, actually. We might want to save. Dad has been acting very strangely since his secret project in the lab. Yeah, so? So? Well, Mommy, I'm worried about him. He hasn't been at dinner for five Why years. Why don't I have a British yeah, accent? So? Where did you get yours? And he's been bringing those bodies down into the basement late at night. What's your point, Ed? I'm a very busy lady. Are you? Never mind. <laughs> Edison. Okay. Alright, let's save right now. Let's I wanna see if we go right up these stairs if we'll run into him before he gets back to his room. Cause this floor is right up here. Might have been a little bit late. Yeah, well. Very dim lighting in this version. 
Wanted a murderous purple meteor. If you see him, do not touch him with bare hands. Called Meteor Police at 1977 in this version, it appears. Hello, what do we got here? Dime. Dime on the floor. I like how they have carbon copies of the same portrait all around the house. She had one of Ed in her room. If I had to wake up to this, I don't think I'd sleep either. Fred, excuse me. <laughs> I like that climbing animation. Alright, I think we're about to make a best friend for life. Very melodramatic music. Next week on As the Tentacle Turns. What's that? Record. Is this his? Well, okay, hold on. That's the one we can record the uh, the dealie on. Let's talk to the green tentacle here. Oh, I'm so depressed. I'm never gonna get my band started. My life is going nowhere. I'm never gonna amount to anything. Eating all that food didn't even help. You know what, Tentacle? I have just the Korg M1 synthesizer piece to uh, cheer you up or make you green with that oil oh, already green. better the third time. Hey, this is great stuff. I could use someone like you in my band. I think I'm already in the scumettes from the intro. I can't tell. I have a demo tape, but it's no use. I'll never get a recording contract. I'll be the... Even if we get a band together. I'll be the judge of that tentacle. Let's sear your chops right here. I like that he just takes my demo tape. He's like, that's mine now. Would have been entertaining to mail off our demo and get the recording contract and flaunt it in the tentacle's face and have him murder us, as he does. But let's, uh, let's hear what it sounds like in this version. That's for free. Use it. No, that's great. I'll mail this off right away. <laughs> take me where? No, 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 no. You misunderstood. So take the tape. I think there's a key over here we want to grab. Michael J. Fox. Oh, I love The Secret of My Success. Great 80s movie, by the way. If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. It's like the... Uh, Dark Horse in the Michael J. Fox best film race. Alright. Fret not. To my slimiest son, love mom. Oh. See Ron Gilbert live at the forum. Ron Gilbert. Love it. Just did a let's play of Return to Monkey Island, Ron Gilbert's latest game, by the way. You can check that out if you, uh, or just pick up the game. I recommend it. That. that was a good game. Heartily enjoyed it. We won't be calling the Meteor Police in this version, so I don't have to worry about radio tubes or anything. So this is Edna's room. This is Ed's room. So this is the gym right here. Torches. Okay. Let's get our pump on. What do we call it? The Hunkomatic. It's just like. Ah, I feel much stronger now. It's like barbells here. Nice. The Egyptian vibe. 
We got the TV, got the pillar right there. That's that's luxury. That's all you need right there. And the uh, disabled bathroom here. Cousin Ted or whatever his name was. <gasps> Whoa! What's up? He seems a little stiff. Cousin Ted. Jank Antonov, kind of. Can we talk to him? I don't want to talk with that. I don't want to talk with that. We did get the chainsaw. We just have no fuel for it. Here she is. Where do they keep the gas? On Mars? Nice gag. Nice reference. Like the flies. This isn't that sort of game. <laughs> like a little more privacy for that. This isn't that sort of game. Pull the chain. That's me. Grab the soap at least. Or the sponge, I should say. Alright, got the sponge. That's one good looking inventory. Just got the silhouette in the mirror there. Final area in the mansion we haven't been to, aside from the secret lab. That's a nice shot of the family right there. I like that. Hmm. In the corner it says, not pictured, Harry the Fly. <laughs> There's the typewriter that Wendy's going to need. Oh, the cute little man-eating plant. Better save just in case. What do we got? Oh boy, how do I get myself roped into these things? 24 hour express delivery to the crazy Edison's mansion? <laughs> Good lord. Ordinarily, I hesitate to set foot out here in broad daylight, but an extra 20 bucks is what it is. <laughs> the door is just open. I ain't dragging my feet getting the heck out of here, that's for sure. <laughs> Too bad you only have one movement speed. I love it. Not only does the delivery guy get, like, camera time in this version of the game, he gets lines. Again? Again? All right. We got to make a mad dash to that package, Wendy. By which I mean you're one very slow speed. Get that thing before Ed gets his hands on it. I learned my lesson in the Amiga version that we can actually screw up the whole mailing away thing. So, let's not do that in this version. So slow. Huh, oh, my package arrived. All right, that's not gonna work. Ah, oh, maybe if, I mean in the original game you had more than enough time to get to that package. But yeah, now we're out some stamps. Some uncancelled stamps came off. Okay. <laughs> Reagan. Yeah, he got out of here fast. Uh is he just gonna like smack her? What is he about to Can't do? Can't you read the sign? No, get out of here! All right, anyway, so let's very quickly switch back to Sid and see if we can't go through all of his stuff before he gets back upstairs. I don't know that we can do it. Time seems to be much more at a premium in this version. He left his door open. That's just inviting people to come in and steal your hamster, right? And your key card. Damn, I broke it. Quick, quick. All right, got everything we need. Camera? I guess Ed uses this to document his plans. 
LFLU. Not my team. What are you doing in my house? Stealing are all you your stuff. Evil media, or are you here to help me defeat it? I don't need to be friends with you. Not in this version. Just throw me in the dungeon already, all right? I need to make the get the key in between. I'm not talking. They actually. Not talking, eh? That took a while. Well, to the dungeon, spy. Sure. Throw me in the barn. <laughs> really? This room especially looks like something out of Quest for Glory 5. Too bad you weren't on my side. Always with the toothpick in his mouth. Alright, so how does a brick activate this? Show us, Dave. Show us how it's done. You're the king of this maneuver. Tight window. As it always was. But plenty of time. Alright, God bless you, Dave. Oh, this place looks a lot more dangerous. Secret door. This is a secret door. Is it now? I need to find the light switch. I know there's a key over there, but. Start to. Ew! Walking through nuclear waste. <laughs> Alright, there's the stairs. There should be. A light switch. I think I saw it. Maybe not. Furnace. That's healthy, right? <laughs> Ah, whatever. I'll find it in the dark. To the stable spy. I mean dungeon. That's right. Circuit breakers. Fuse box. Silver key. Saw it for a second. There she is. Good lord. Okay. What's the secret no door? No way to open it from this side. Secret door? Is that like where the tentacle comes from? And that connects somehow back to the, uh, the lab? Ah, whatever, I don't care. It's fine. A little mouse. Okay. So Wendy should be right at... Wow, still tracking some of that radioactive waste there. Um, she should be just outside this You're door. just kidding me, huh? Let's get her inside. We can do a good old-fashioned item swap. Mm. This is always the part in the game where I'm like, all right, what's the most efficient way to do all this? Let's send him outside. Cause we gotta get that radioactive water. We need to get the stuff at the bottom of the pool. So let's open this for Wendy with our new physique. Easy. Easy. Alright. So she can go in there now. We can head out to the pool. Get that faucet while we're there, too. Well, you know what? We can't fix the phone, though, can we? We don't have Bernard or Jeff, so we can't... Uh... There's no point in getting the faucet to move Cousin Ted out of the way. By the way, everyone watching this live, should we nuke the hamster in this version? Yay or nay? Give me your thoughts in the chat. This just looks like a crappy screen kind of door in this version. So this should be the silver key. <laughs> Cute little hamster. Jeff says nay. I think Jeff would have done it in the original game. I don't remember. Maybe it was just the musicians. 
definitely nuke it. Ew. I mean, it looks more radioactive-y. Let's use the jar to get the nasty water. Okay. Got the... There it is. Nuclear water right there. All right, let's get in position. I don't know what kind of window we'll have here. Oh, I like all the uh, lightning bugs there. Save the game. Again, don't know what kind of a window we have to work with here in this version. It is a good hamster. It's not all hamster. In the great you go, Wendy. Get in there. What are you doing? I realize with Sid and Wendy, we have the option to, uh, well, we only have like the one ending with the one alternate one with Wendy, but we have the uh, option of having multiple allies basically this time around, or ways of getting past the tentacle. Anyway, save here, and I always forget if it's opening or closing. It can't be opened. Close it. I can't close it. Use it. I'm useless. Dave's dad was right. <laughs> Dave's dad sounds like a dick. If it were something that could be closed, I'd accommodate, I swear. It's operated by opening and closing it. How am I supposed to open that? Uh. Yes? Yeah. There we go. So we'll get our cutscene here with. Dr. Fred freaking out, but let's see how quickly we can get down in this pool. <laughs> Don't push. Well, now I have to. But first, the radio. The glowing key. He's not freaking out. What's going on? Where's the alarm, too, by the way? All right, ending number one. Right here. Do not press under any circumstances. You're a musician. Do you follow the rules or do you push red buttons? <laughs> nice shot. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Ooh. There you go. Ending number one. The dark ending. We could do better. I still look cool. <laughs> All the graves. All the kids have died. The rescue attempt has failed. I'll say. Dr. Fred, still under the evil meteor's influence, is destined to take over the world and a small part of the galaxy. Uh. Hope you like purple. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my question is, how does Dr. Fred survive the nuclear blast? Or the meltdown? Killed us. I don't know, maybe the... Is the lab part secure? If that's the case, his family's dead. It's gotta be super sad, I would imagine. Alright, let's get out of here. Yeah, Dr. Fred not even freaking out. About the fact that, uh... Nothing's being cooled at the moment. Let's get out of the pool here. There we are. And... Get her to close this thing back up. Oh, now it goes. Done. Crisis averted. Let's just check in on Sid, see if the pool is indeed full. There we go. Nasty water. So much more detail here. I, I appreciate this. This looks uh, this looks nice. Instead of just appearing next to a garage, there's the Edsel on bricks. It says property of Dr. Emmett Lathrop Brown. Dr. Emmett Brown. Oh, it's his plutonium. Doc. <laughs> like this. Another uh, Michael J. Fox movie reference there. 
Here's the water faucet handle. So we'll probably need these tools. I'm assuming the 0000, zero, zero, zero does not work in this version. So, uh, I think it's the yellow key, actually. Looks like a car key here. Let's save in case we accidentally set the... Uh... Oh, crap. Did we have an auto-save this whole time option? Yeah, we did. All right. Well, wish I'd seen that. Looks like a car key to me. Go. In the trunk. Binford. Damn the tool man too. All right, we got our tools now. That's handy. We'll leave that trunk door open. Great Scott. <laughs> That's heavy, Doc. Heavy, heavy. Is there some problem with the, like the the gravitational pull on Earth? Why do you keep saying heavy? Just a classic. Maybe we'll get a Teen Wolf reference if we keep playing. Even there's not too many screens left. Maybe in the attic. Hey, Josh. So it sounds like the uh, nuking the hamster people got outvoted. See, I want to get the um. I want to make sure we don't screw up the uh, envelope this time. Not that we have it yet. It's definitely like put it in. Put it in the microwave with the water. Of course, it's all moot if we can't get this plant. To uh, take some Pepsi. <laughs> As you do. Off we go. Take that shot of the moon out through the window there, that's nice. Just had to find the walk to up area. That's that was the issue before. All right, plant. I hope it's just a issue of order here, and the radioactive water is going to uh, it's going to take this here. All right, Audrey. Hmm. Use? That's all it was. Good lord. That's a good way to die. Use can of Pepsi with the... There we go. You feel better, Audrey? Alright, um... I think before we use the giant telescope, we need to get the painting out of the way in Edna's attic area so we're certainly going to need a second kid involved here we can go get the manuscript while we're here actually we're actually not going to help the uh the tentacle i just realized man i feel bad but it's much more interesting to get the uh, talk show ending or had the option between a couple different endings. And we're not going to have that if we send away the demo. We need the envelope for uh, Wendy and the manuscript. Sorry, Tentacle. Looks like your dreams aren't going to come true. But you won't have to work for crazy Dr. Fred anymore. You'll just have to work for normal Dr. Fred. Your life will still be going nowhere, but, you know. You can come see Razor and Sid with the Scumettes playing every now and then. Backstage pass. Half price tickets. Let's not get crazy. Alright, so the manuscript will be right in here. Alright. Should be in this desk drawer. It's your run of the mill office desk. Open it up, Wendy. Manuscript. 
Alright, let's see. Can we look at it? Looks like someone's memoir, but the writing is terrible. Nothing you can't fix. Oh, I think I think she freaks out a little bit at the uh, skeleton. Maybe she'll say the same thing. I hope it was a voluntary donation. Ooh, that's scary. <laughs> All right. Yeah, in the original version, it's I always got the sense it was more like, ooh, that's scary. But in this one, it's, ooh, that's scary. All right, so we'll have her punch up the... Uh, Manuscript. I guess technically Sid can still put, he can type the uh, publisher's address so Wendy doesn't have to do that necessarily. But she does need to fix the manuscript. So let's head into the typewriter room. Some unused stamps. <laughs> well, they have Ronald Reagan on there. Okay, so let's uh. use the manuscript in the typewriter. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I like that, and Sid just chilling out, and the plant is burping. Creates the perfect working environment, apparently. Belch after belch. <laughs> ah, that's much better. I like that there was a bit more to it in this version than just ding, 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 done. All right, cool. So we could make friends with Ed right now. I don't know if there'd be an upside to that. We by giving him the package. I'm gonna skip that. We're just gonna go straight for Edna's room get caught here. I'm going to assume I have time to get into her room with Sid before she gets back upstairs. Oh, an unwelcome visitor. I got you. She doesn't say anything suggestive to the ladies, I don't think. And it doesn't go that way. She only makes unappropriate. Oh, lucky you're not a boy. Exactly. Or well, you'd be in big trouble now. Yeah, otherwise he'd threaten to tie me to your bed. But it would never happen. You're all talk, Edna. Come on. You know what we all want to see. Well, let's scurry to her room right quick. Get the small key, I believe it is. Please hurry, Sid. And just at least get upstairs to up the ladder to take down the, uh... There we go. <laughs> like the chains above her bed. Edna, one kinky customer. Ooh. Creepy. Let's make it a little less creepy. Ew! Wow, it's like Monkey Island. Disturbing. <laughs> Disturbing. Aha. Uh -huh. Those numbers don't work. Didn't think they would. Had no reason to think that they would. All right. So we got to get caught, thrown down to the uh, stable uh, dungeon. Oh, an un... <laughs> an un... Just grabs his butt. of me. Oh, I should have tied you to my bed. I'll talk. I like that her uh, her stockings don't <laughs> they match, but they're yeah, she's gotten a little lazy with one of them. Dave, do that magic. Do that. Give me the Dave special. <laughs> Gotta get both of us out here, I think, technically. Um, guess there's no rush as we walk through more radioactive waste.
It's not healthy. A little mouse. Up the stairs we go. Very slowly. That's the only criticism I think I have so far, is how slowly everybody moves. I would love a run. It's nitpicking, but yeah, the house seems a lot bigger when you got when you're in first gear. But again, this is day one of the release, so you know, it's gonna be lots of patches, probably handful of updates. Can't say, but I would assume. Alright, so now we get to use the super powerful telescope. Not as intended, but still. Very handy nonetheless. We're gonna need more cutscenes here soon. We need Dr. Fred to cut the power. We're making good time. <laughs> I like that animation. Climbing up the, uh, Oh, it's like the brightest room in the house. Neighborhood Lenses Incorporated. Alright, I'm assuming it's still two to the right. But just in case. Don't want to waste dimes needlessly. <laughs> E.T. So, according to this, I'm utterly incapable of reading astronomy charts. That's pretty good. It shows the trajectory of a meteorite impacting Earth. All right, let's take a look as it stands right now. See what... Galileo's wet dream. Yeah, but look through it. Yeah. Creepy. That's me. That is you. Let's use a dime in the coin slot. And then push the right button. That seemed like it was going more left, but okay. That's the second biggest telescope I've ever seen. Creepy. <laughs> I like that shot, just the tentacle chilling out. No, I can't combine them. Luckily it wasn't like, you know, could have been worse things to accidentally spy the tentacle doing. So this should... 1904. Brilliant. All right, that's all we need up here. We need Dave to spring Wendy to be our uh, diversion one more time. Yeah, I do really like, yeah, they nailed the, the creepy vibe in the mansion. I just like the lighting. I don't know. It's a job well done, if you ask me. And I meant to go to Dave there. mind once again wouldn't ask me just so good at it it's like full Hasselhoff from the back Psst, wrong kid Hasselhoff did a lot of denim with denim back in the day Baywatch and such we'll get it You voice one of the characters, Cora. Who did you voice? I'd love to hear everybody in time, like to take all the characters out. <laughs> Just love those two steps. Radioactive on the car, but I'm sure that'll just scrub right out or that mouse will run through it and become in more interesting i don't know <laughs> can't think of a better adjective offhand but you know sequel fodder right there it's the mouse that ran through Wow. 
walk to up. All right, one last time. We gotta get her caught and thrown in the dungeon. Haven't had a cutscene in a very long time. We might be sitting on our thumbs here for a... Twiddling our thumbs, however the expression goes here in a second. Oh, an unwelcome visitor. Nice, Corey. Yeah, I got Welcome. You. <laughs> Very happy to have you here. Yeah, I would have titled this as um Maniac Mansion, but uh, or Meteor Mess, I should say, but that wasn't an option, so. Oh, lucky you're not a boy, or you'd be in big trouble now. <laughs> Little apron. All right, quick, quick, quick. 1904, right? I realized I completely put that number out of my head. Well, here's Sid right now. <laughs> that is awesome, though. Thank you for, <laughs> thank you for sharing that with us. Man, I wish I could make that phone call. Nineteen oh four. Nineteen oh four. Sweet. All right, let's not screw up the envelope this time, like I have so many times before. Well, the ones, but still, that was that was enough. You know what? I need to go downstairs anyway. This is just a shortcut, given how slowly we walk. It just struts in. How silly of me. I should have tied you to my bed. I like that she's British and none of the rest of the family has the accent. All right, let's see here. So, I don't want to open this. That would be bad. Because I think that will just tear it apart and that's not going to... It's not going to be what we want. Let's just try it. I'd better not. I'd better not. It's a blank envelope. Okay. It's a blank envelope. All right. So they don't... Uh, yeah, they don't even give you the option in this version of the game. Well, you know, we both need to bust out. Dave, get to uh, brick pushing. Cool. It's the coolest. He's the one I would want to voice. <laughs> Best character. Well, being that you tuned in, I think we have to do this. I apologize to all of the... We'll even reload after we do it. I just need to hear whatever the line was. That, uh, that you recorded for this. You gotta do it. This is not canon. Like I said, we will reload. <laughs> Nail the lines in your sleep. All right. Uh, let's just use it. That's not going to happen as long as the microwave is open. That's true. No. Those things don't go together. An adorable little pet hamster. <laughs> How can you say that and then instantly... That's not going to happen as long as the microwave is open. Push? That can't be pushed. Pull? I can't pull it. Uh, there we go. All right. Here we go. Got to do it. Just to check it out. <laughs> That's pretty tame. That's not really exploded so much. It was like it just kind of opened up a little bit. Yum! Should I take white or dark meat? <laughs> Excellent delivery, by the way, Corey. Cooked hamster bits. Cooked hamster bits. That's kind of cute, actually. All right. Well, I just wanted to see it. I had to see it. 
forgive me, everyone. Let's uh, use the <laughs> microwave for its intended purpose in this game. And let's get some water. It's only ketchup. It says blood, but okay. All right, Sid. I don't have a corn dog to smear it on. I don't have a corn dog to smear it on. All right, got the water. So I think that in there. Let's we uh we need the stamps still. Let's just kind of have a regroup in the kitchen here. Push. I don't think we gave ourselves enough time. Agreed. Clearly they made this game from a place of love, which you have to appreciate. And I'm enjoying it. It's great having the voice acting. It's great having the modern touch. The visuals. How they brought the mansion to life. Very cool. I don't want... Yeah, don't go up there. Meet Sid. Let's do this thing. Get the stamp. See if I can't figure this out. It's a lot easier in the NES version. And then I screwed up the Amiga version, so it's never had to do this properly. Alright, let's give the stamps to Sid. <laughs> Guess that's what she did there. And let's see. That makes no sense. <laughs> that makes no sense. Okay. No, that doesn't make sense. All right. Well, let's... That's not going to happen as long as the microwave is open. There we go. Let's try this. Hopefully the fact there's a quarter in there won't cause any issues. All right, so the envelope should open. This water is steaming hot. So we're not going to worry about the water, but the envelope. Hey, a quarter slid out of the envelope. And that's how you do that. All right, now we can put the stamp. No, that doesn't make sense. No, that doesn't well, make guess, sense. Let's give this to... Uh, no, we need to go upstairs and type the proper address on the thing. Again, I'm like, oh, this is taking a long time, but we still need to wait for Dr. Fred to have a chat with his wife. He still has not had a chat with uh, Ed about how he stole the key card and everything. They pace it out more like, you know, if you're figuring things out for the first time, which, you know, I can appreciate, but in this case, we're uh, moving a little quicker. Just at the mercy of Dr. Fred's timing now. So we can address the envelope now, keeping the three guys who publish anything's address in mind. Let's just save again. Saving often, saving early. Using the envelope. That makes no sense. Uh, it's ready for something to be put in it. That makes no sense. Hmm. Maybe we need the manuscript in it before we can do it. Again, we're waiting anyway, so we'll send her upstairs. I almost want, like, with the the creepy ambient music and everything, the score, it's like, you wish that they would have put in, like, the purple tentacle, like, 
to be patrolling every now and then, just kind of like pop out from the shadows and just, you know, throw you in the dungeon or something, but like, you know, kind of like a jump scare or something. <laughs> I don't know. I wouldn't be averse to that. It, uh, they just keep setting me up to expect something with that music. Goes well with the visuals, I'll say that again, but, uh... Right way. Let's see. Maybe Wendy should be the one to do this. I don't know, but let's, let's use the manuscript in there. Let's use the stamp. Stick. Okay. Okay. That's all we had to do. And you know it what? It has the address from that publisher's TV commercial on it. And I'll give this to Wendy. She did the lifting. This is her baby. We got the quarter now, so that's good. So let's send her down to mail this thing out. Well, the med need, needs, or the, the plant needs something to set its, its tummy right. Radioactive water left it a little. <laughs> and the Pepsi. A lot of carbonation, I oh, suppose. an unwelcome visitor. This is just faster. I got you. So we'll get her to throw us down in here. You're lucky you're... Baby Jesus is due any minute. And push the brick one more time. Not even next to it. He's like, I can push this in my sleep at this point. He's an old pro. Alright, so let's head out front and mail this thing off. Maybe we'll get a second scene from the uh, delivery guy. That'd be cool. A little bit of extra content in this game, you know? I don't count the the visuals and things like that, but just, you know, the fact that we got to see the delivery guy. <laughs> oh, man. Here we go. Edna, I'm having trouble with the zombie matic. I need to shut down the power. Yes. But only five or six minutes tops. Is that all you have to say to me? <laughs> that look. And, uh, I love what you've done with your hair. <laughs> for the past five years. Sometimes I think you like that meteor more than me. Don't worry, my little beauty queen. Soon everything will be different. Sure. <laughs> I thought he had to talk with uh, Ed before he talked to Edna, but... I don't know. Alright, so let's mail this thing off. Um... Sid's actually in a good spot to do the uh, electrical work in the attic. I used to think it was just Bernard that could do that, but I suppose it's... Two birds. Hey, Ed, yeah, makes sense. The meteor wants to borrow your hamster and electric cattle prod. He's on the floor. My hamster? Nobody touches my hamster. Have you looked in that cage it, in a while? You're gonna piss uh, off the meteor. It already thinks you stole my purple key card. Uh... I don't know what you're talking about. X-Wing up there. I can't get to the meteor without it. Oh, really? Shape up, kid. All right. So we should be in good shape for him to turn off the power soon. We should make the uh, battery swap with Sid. Drop this in here. There we are. Now let's pop that flag up so we know that we have an outgoing, we have some outgoing mail. There we go. And again, let's get her off of the screen. Did someone just shut the door? 
Oh, the power went out. That was quick. So the door's still open, but the lights went out. Nice. Ooh. Oh my god. This is so creepy. And nothing is going to jump out at me, unfortunately. <laughs> Feels like a wasted opportunity. Alright. So we have the tools. Ooh. That is some nice lighting right there. I like that. <laughs> the belch kind of takes you out of it. Alright, so we got the tools. Let's open up the... Those are old batteries. Let's open up the radio. Maybe get some... There were fresh batteries in it. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Put these in the flashlight we grabbed. I put the batteries uh, into the flashlight. Good job, Sid. At the beginning of the game, practically. <laughs> ah, a manuscript. Let's see. Everything's faster in this version. Wow. Except for the walking. This is hot stuff. It will sell millions, maybe even billions. Billions with a B. I'm going to make Mr. Meteor a million dollar offer. Nice. Elvis on the wall. <laughs> he just stares out the window. Look at that all night delivery service. Very speedy. All right. Um. So that's. Is something else happening now? <laughs> okay, no. That was just us going upstairs. So this is the attic here. There's the wiring which needs to be fixed so that Fred can use the zombie matic. So let's get our trusty tool set out. Fixed. Done. Love that. Yeah, I used to think it was just Bernard that could do that, but literally anyone has the ability to uh, be an electrician in this game, apparently. Let's turn off the flashlight. Uh, I was about to. In the day we sweat it out <laughs> In the streets of a runaway American dream At night we ride through mansions of glory In suicide machines Singing the boss. <laughs> that was pretty fantastic. Alright, that was great. Flashlight off. I know, what if they're just lulling us into thinking there's no jump scares this whole time? Alright, where are you, Wendy? You in the dungeon right now? Oh, she's just outside. You know what? We gotta get caught in the dark. By Edna. This has to happen. It's just the scene is all set for something creepy to happen. We can't even see the doors. I think this is her door. I don't want to go in the wrong door. I don't want Ed to capture me. That's not nearly as scary. I've decided. Better make sure. Down. Door. Door. Oh, oh, unwell. She's got candles. All right, but we're going to run into the hall. Oh. I got you. That's pretty good. All right. Manufactured a little bit, but you know what? That was well worth it. How silly of me. Oh, I should have tied you to my bed. It's very warm and cheery here in the uh, the inn. This is this is nice. All right, so we have the quarter, so we need to get out. I got you. Oh, <laughs> she did a two for that, Edna. All right, that, that that was pretty good. I was like, what is going on right there? We still need to get the meteor's contract. You're lucky, you're okay. <laughs> Let's 
So you gotta get both of us out of here again, Dave. One after another. All right, so Sid just has to get the code. For the, uh, the secret door. We have the glowing key. We might as well unlock it now. So all we'll be waiting on is, uh, yeah, is that at this point? So we haven't befriended anyone, unfortunately. Can't make friends with the tentacles this way. Or Ed. But we still have, with this, what we need to beat the game. Most useful item in the game. If I were Blaze, I would call this item of the game the contract. Because it lets you get past the, uh, the purple tentacle and takes care of the meteor essentially and no one has to get hurt either always nice yeah I thought about that earlier I made the comment in my original let's play the NES version that uh, from 10 over 10 years ago at this point good lord that uh, Wendy was uh, she's kind of stacked I said in that version in this version not so much kind of appreciate that you know a lot of times the uh, the want for game developers is to just, you know, kind of uh, give the female characters some unrealistic proportions, I guess is the best way of saying that, but uh, yeah, not as much in this, in this game. I will say though, and we didn't get to see her, but um, actually, <laughs> when I started the game, I did do this. I did select Razor. I was curious about the voice acting. Let's bring this up real quick. Just so you can see what she looks like. <laughs> That's Razor's outfit, by the way. So there's still an element okay. of that a little bit this with the developers. Like the <laughs> I'm sure I saw Dr. Fred take Sandy here. It's up to us to get her out. This could be real dangerous. If anyone wants to back that out, that dress is like. This would make a great story. I heard Dr. Fred was kind of cute. Okay. <laughs> Let's go rescue Sandy. Razor hot for Dr. Fred. But, uh, yeah. Razor. Razor. The lead singer of a punk band, Razor and the Scumettes. He's like, I don't know why, but when I look at her, I forget why we came to the mansion in the first place. <laughs> anyway. Back to uh, our main save. <laughs> Just wanted to share that. Since I did when I was testing the game, making sure everything was running. I, I put Razor in the party and noticed that. <laughs> anyway, let's get caught one more time. We do the ultimate item exchange upstairs, or in the dungeon, I should say. And then. Ooh, creepy. I like it. It's fun taking in all the different rooms with the lights out. Yeah, really nice kind of moonlighting right here. Yeah, we're just waiting on Dr. Fred to turn the lights back on. And we can... Let's get Fred, or Ed this time. And then we can uh, finish the game. See ya. I want him to come out in the hall too. Just to make it a little creepy. There he is. <gasps> Intruder, halt! What are you doing in my house? Are you an agent of the evil meteor? Or are you here to help me defeat I have the package there and I oh I I could give it to him. Well, let's give it to him. No thanks. <laughs> Just grab his crotch, I think. Here you go. Oh, my commando pack. <laughs> he liked it that time. Now you have to find me my plans. I lost them somewhere. I don't have you to... see, the evil meteor has turned my father into a madman. I noticed. I must break into the lab and save him. I need my commando package and plans, but I lost them. Come back when you have what I need. 
I mean, I just gave Dr. It Fred has kidnapped our friend Sandy. My friends and I are here to save her. <laughs> Sociopath. He just walks away. We're here to save our friend. She's been captured by her fu- Oh, okay, you don't care. Okay. Alright. Just get thrown into the old dungeon one last time. Oh, an unwelcome. I doubt she'll follow me into, like, one of these other doors or areas. Ah, done. Too late. I don't think she would have come in anyway. I got... Of course, you can never make heads or tails of what the power situation is like when the... when you're in the... the stable. The stable's here. Alright. Item swap. So... I think Wendy should give it to him. Sorry, Dave, you're not going to have really any part in rescuing your girlfriend, Sandy, except for you pushing the hell out of that brick. So let's, uh, let's see. Let's make sure Wendy has everything she needs. Might as well unlock these padlocks right now with the uh, glowing key. There we go. And the glowing key. Sweet. Let's just try it. I don't think it's going to work, but... That was the wrong combination. Worth a shot. All right, so we'll give her the card key. I guess the lights are back on. Just the classic arcade sounds right there. All right, so Sid will head up and play a game of Meteor Mess. A little meta there. And uh, we're all very close here. Let's give her the card key. And I think that's everything she needs. She has the manuscript, or the contract, I should say. Small keys for the arcade. Record, demo tape, foo, tentacle chat. No, I don't think we... I don't think she'll need any of these. All right. I will be back. Dave, one last time, if you please. Never change, Dave. You're a rock star. I mean, literally, we're the rock star, but... One hell of a brish pusher. <laughs> Brick pusher. Or brish pusher. That works, too. Make out, man. That's, that's what I was looking like right there. I don't think they'll let us play any other games, but we'll give it a shot. I don't know if there's maybe there's like a mini game within the game. I wonder. I noticed in the extras when I fired up the game that uh, they had all the arcade games, so maybe they programmed in a quick little single serving. Arcade type games in the game? I don't know. We'll see. In <laughs> another timeline, I did have hamster bits as a present. We got the small key, so we might as well try it in some of these others. Start with Video Fever. I'm rich. <laughs> I'm rich. Let's try it in the coin slot. Oh. Don't try pull. Oh, no, here we go. Video fever. Oh, Pac Man. Okay. Awesome. Now let's try to clear one level. Oh, control wasn't that tight, but I can't complain about a free game within a free game. Not too much, at least. Yeah, turn this that turn there. <laughs> no sound. Are there are five ghosts? Well, that's unnecessary. It's like too many ghosts on the screen. There we go. 
Played the game of my life in Pac-Man when I was about 11 years old at a restaurant near my grandma's house. One quarter. Got greedy. Very greedy. It's our last life. Alright, up's not working when I want up to work. That's okay. Normally I'd go with some channel branding, but when you can actually fit a name in three letters, you gotta go with it, right? Sid. No one's ever played Video Fever, apparently. Okay. Where's my small key? Here she is. There was a coin on it. Shocker. Oh, we got the coin back. All right. Let's try it in Disco Crazy. Let's see what we got this time. I'm told one of these is GTA 6 demo. Oh, it actually is a disco game. That's fun. Oh, it's like a Simon Says. Nice. I'm losing it. I thought this was gonna be lighthouse. <laughs> Playing disco fever. All right, that's all I got. I don't got any more. <laughs> Game over. And I don't think Sydney's. I don't think he wants to be associated with that game. Thank you, Squatch. That makes me feel better. <laughs> like, there was a coin on. Don't it. look like I have the worst short-term memory ever. That looks like. Oh, can we play some pong? Hell yeah, I'd love to play some pong. Those things don't go together. Is there a coin slot? A pong table. Can I use it? Nice. Wow. They thought of everything. And this is us on the left. Enthralling. Didn't get this in the NES version. Alright, that was fun. <laughs> that one was free, actually. Let's check out... What is this? Alien Slime? I can't combine those. Die, enemy, die! Can't wait to play Kill Thrill. Oh, it's like a Doom clone or something. Oh, nice. Load Runner. I love it. Little parodies of all the uh, classic games. Epic music. Ah! I just want to get to the flag. Fun. Uh-oh. Can't quit out of this one as easily. That's not good. Don't want to break the game. Ah, this guy. That's fine. Fun. As Ben would say, fun. Alright, use that in the old coin there slot. There was a coin on it. Die, enemy, die! Just a couple more games to play here. 
Uh, nice. Yeah, look at that game. All the classics accounted for. Enemy die! <laughs> Strangely zen. Alright. Let's try kill thrill, and then we will end. There was a coin on it. On Meteor Mess, like we're meant to. Is this like Doom? Or this might be like a Street Fighter. Oh. <laughs> reload, reload. Ow. Uh. <laughs> A reject from Sesame Street. I don't know what that was. From Jim Henson's Nightmares. Alright, kill me. That's fine. Kill Thrill. Renamed, what was it? Not Muff Diver, because it was like temporarily Muff Diver. And they're like, oh, well, that's, that's just not gonna work. Tuna Diver, Tuna Diver. All right. All right, final game, Meteor Mess. What if this is a working version of the original Maniac Mansion? It can't be used. I know they had that in Day of the Tentacle. There was a coin on it. Are we sure this pinball game is out of order? Yeah, I guess so. So much for Tron. All right, Meteor Mess. What do we got this time? All right, ten thirteen. But let's have a game. Oh, I think if we break, if we beat his high score, it becomes the new thing. So let's just stick with ten thirteen. Ten thirteen is not that good of a score, actually. Actually, how did he even get that score? I'm wondering. Seems like it was only in odd numbers or even numbers. So how did he get ten thirteen? I don't know. I don't know. Um, I would order a Pepsi or <laughs> get a Pepsi from the uh, machine, but I don't really care that much. So let's just. Switch over to this game is broken. This, this is game is broken. <laughs> Loom coaster slots. All right, 10 13. Wendy, don't ask me how we communicated this. Hmm, locked 10 13. Sweet, so going through. We're cool. Got the key. Purple tentacle in Click through it all. Yeah, she's the most attractive one in the game, Sandy, in this version. I'm I didn't even remember. She was just like a blob there. blur in the first game. The house will blow up in two. Glad we went with red, though, for her "quote unquote" dress. <laughs> you okay, Sandy? Hang in there. I'll get you out. 
just looking around it. She had lines earlier. We're all gonna die. <laughs> all right, let's see. Open the locker. Pop open the radio. Protective suit that shields from radiation. Yeah, put probably the... effective against a moderate drizzle as put well. Put it on. It can't be used. What? I can't pick up a locker. They've used the hunkomatic. There you go. Use card key, card reader. Sweet. I'll crack your spine like a whip. Rock right. beats everything. <laughs> the Rock paper. Beats everything. Not the paper I'm about to give you. Where do you get the nerve? Prepare to be crushed back to your subatomic particles. Bow down before me. There we go. That's the machine controlling Fred's mind. Oh, well, what happened? I feel much better now. I'm Tiber's free of still this going. Control. Oh. But wait. The self-destruct sequence was initiated. I'll try to turn it off. 55 seconds. I don't I have time for your babbling. I'm running out of time. Shut up. I have no problem turning this into a zero contrition suicide mission. Alright, got the meteor in inventory. We probably don't have enough time to take this upstairs and feed it to the plant in this version now that I think about it. Barely have enough time to put this in the trunk. No, I can't combine them. I won't have you throw in a spanner in the works. Having a time. Launch it, Wendy! Sweet. Ooh. Nice shot. <laughs> cool. <laughs> wow, I'm very glad we did this. <laughs> Wee. <laughs> that was cool. And now we get the front porch debriefing. Hard to know where to begin. Uh, not my proudest moment by a long chalk. I trust you kids enjoyed a pleasant evening in my home. Uh, all things considered. Dave's like, I just pushed a no brick all night. Trust to leave a key under the doormat. Yes. From what you've told me, it sure took a convoluted series of inventive steps for you to gain entry to my lab. I can tell you, I'm not impressed. Right, music. I can tell you the truth. The truth, Doctor Fred, is that with teamwork, you can solve anything. At Makes least a dream that's work. what I learned thumbing through Wendy's index of empty platitudes one time at lunch. <laughs> well, kiddo, however you pulled it off, you sure saved us all from a fate most bleak. I supposed a few wrecked appliances and some shattered glass here and there is a small price to pay for the preservation of my sanity and the galaxy. Still, I feel indebted. I'm sorry my mad, insane plan caused so much trouble. How can I ever repay you for your help? Cash? Cash would be nice. <laughs> Don't be a tuna head. All right, we still got the tuna headline. Prepare to be soon. You should have known. Wow. <laughs> a lucrative publishing contract. Wow. I'm going to be famous. I don't have to be evil anymore. Dr. Fred, release the women. All the women. We're going to be rich. How many women did you... What? <laughs> release the women. All the women. Human trafficking? The Wink Smiley Show! Fantastic. Welcome back from our break. If you're just tuning in, we've been talking with the celebrity rock who gave up a life of crime for a career as a writer. His gripping story of intergalactic intrigue, scandal, and ultimately redemption has been vociferously embraced by the whole world. <laughs> with over 50 million copies sold to date, the explosive memoir has been published in over 20 different languages, wow. earned universal acclaim, and is currently being developed as a feature by Lucasfilm with Steven Spielberg attached <laughs> to direct. A rock between stars.
So, Mr. Meteor, how does it feel to be famous instead of infamous? Well, Wink, it feels great, and I don't mind telling you. In all the light years I've traveled since I was but a freshly broken ball of metallic debris, I've never encountered such a groundswell of support for my unique cocktail of emotional issues. I've come a long way since my dark days of teenage brain violation, but I couldn't have done it alone. And I would be remiss if we went any further without introducing the brave young friends who, in a sense, talked me off this ledge. Hmm. There's Wendy. Oh, we're... Wait, what? I've never been on live television before. <laughs> what? I hope I don't freak out in front of Wink with mom watching. <laughs> I just hope my outfit doesn't make anyone think I'm a slut. <laughs> my cheerleader uniform is literally all I own. But you have four colors. Man, they didn't have anything to do with that. That's kind of lame. But there you go. I see they went for less of a Jay Leno look with Wink Smiley in uh, this version. Like, uh, Jay Leno, a bit more of a dated talk show host at this point. But even then, like, I guess 1986, 88, 89, when the original Maniac Mansion was coming out, he wasn't even host of The Tonight Show yet. I guess he did a few guest spots, but I don't know, maybe it was projecting that it looked like him. But anyway, here you go, Meteor Mess. That was fun. I liked that. I think I've pretty much said everything I liked about it by now, but uh, very impressive. I liked I liked how they brought the mansion to life. I think more than anything, it was cool to see. Very cool lighting, very cool creepy vibes. Music certainly helped with that. Again, you kind of want it like something to like pop out. <laughs> the way the music was uh, leading you there. <laughs> Jeremy Dick as Wink Smiley. All the translations, localizations. Sasha doing most of the heavy lifting. Always nice to see, though. You know, labor, love. Obviously, they very clearly appreciated the original game from Ron Gilbert. And I think they were working on this since about 2008 or 9, so on and off for 13, 14 years at this point. Again, playing this the day that it came out, just hours after it was released, so... Very cool. Well, there you go. I think at the goodies we have all the uh, arcade games now available. Well, I don't know, maybe you have to beat a certain level or get to some point to unlock them. But anyway, there you go. Could have examined a whole lot more. But, uh, Meteor Mess. It's a thing. Check it out. It's free. That was a lot of fun. Thanks for watching this, everybody. We'll see you next time. More fun, fun times right here on Let's Play with Briggins. Hope to see you then. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and comment on this video, and click subscribe if you haven't already, as this seriously helps me to keep making great content for you. And check the description of this video to see what song is playing right now.